What's up everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. I'm Gadia. In today's lesson, we're going to focus on the first and CAE speaking exams, namely on the second part in which you have to compare and contrast two pictures. I'm going to provide you with 12 super useful strategies to speculate, which is part and parcel of this part. Part and parcel means an essential component. It's really important to speculate in this task. Are you ready? If so, grab your vocabulary notebook and let's kick off. Before we start, today there is little light once again because it's raining at the moment and it's been cloudy and gloomy for days on end. It's what spring is like. And now let's get down to business. As you know, in the second part of the speaking exam, you shouldn't simply describe the pictures. Instead, you're expected to speculate about them. So today I'm going to give you 12 speculation techniques that will help you score higher in the second part of the speaking exam. So the first feature you could use in order to speculate is to use modal verbs for deduction. For example, we could use might, may and could when something is possible. And we can also add well after them in order to add additional emphasis. And now let's look at some examples. The first one, she might well have problems sleeping. The second example, she may be concentrating. And one more example, he could have been fined for exceeding the speed limit. It's very important to use different verb tenses. For example, in the first sentence, we've got present simple. In the second one, present continuous. And in the third example, we've got past simple. So try to use a wide range of verb tenses. Apart from using may, might and could, we can also use must when we're sure that something is true. Let's put it into an example sentence. He must be under the pump to get this article finished today. The idiom to be under the pump means you have to do a task and you have a limited amount of time to do it. And one more modal verb that we could use is can't when we're sure that something is not true. An example sentence, he can't be relaxed as he's taking an exam. I've got a lesson on five super useful grammar structures. And the last grammar structure is focused on modal verbs for speculation and deduction. If you haven't seen it yet, you can click on the card at the top of the screen and I'll also link that video in the description box. And now let's move on to our second feature, which is would. Let's look at two examples. The first one, this information would be relevant. And one more, I would say they are in New York. Let's continue. The third strategy is to use the verb to look, but it's a bit tricky. So let's see. We can use an adjective after to look. For example, he looks rather stressed. We can also use a noun after to look, but in this case, very important, you have to add like. To look plus like plus a noun. An example sentence, it looks like hard work. And if you want to use a clause after to look, in this case, there are three alternatives. We can say to look like, and then subject and a verb, or we can say as if, or as though. For example, 
we can say it looks like it's going to rain or it looks as if it's going to rain or one more possibility it looks as though it's going to rain so after to look we have all these options number four another verb that could be used in order to speculate is to seem the same we could use an adjective after it for example she seems worried or we could use a noun after like for example it seems like a good idea or we could also use the infinitive for example he seems to be angry or she seems to have had an accident or they seem to be enjoying themselves or we could also say it seems to me that for example it seems to me that she's having a job interview number five another verb we could use to speculate is to appear let's look at some examples the first one they appear to be taking an exam another example she appears nervous and one more he appears to be in his 20s number six one more super useful verb to be bound to it means to be extremely likely to happen one simple sentence she's bound to improve her english and guys before we continue and look at six more speculation strategies just a super quick reminder please make sure you subscribe to english bits and your bell icon is on there is a weekly lesson waiting for you it's on Sundays at 12 p.m. Thank you. And now let's continue. Number seven, we can use to be likely to, or we can also add to be very or highly likely to, which means that something is very probable. And now let's look at some examples. The first one, he's likely to accept the job offer and one more example they are very likely to start arguing okay and the opposite of to be likely to is to be not likely to or we can also say to be hardly likely to which means that something is not very probable and now a few examples the first one he is not likely to give up and one more example, it's hardly likely there will be a downpour. A downpour is when there is a lot of rain in a short time. Let's move on to our expression number eight that you can use to speculate. And it's there is a strong or distinct or real possibility that. And it means that something is very probable. And now, a few examples. The first one, there is a strong possibility that they will win the match. And one more example, there is a distinct possibility that they will reach an agreement. Number nine, there is a fair chance that which means that there is a reasonable degree of possibility. An example sentence, there is a fair chance that she'll pass the exam. Number 10, the expression, there is an outside, slight or remote chance that, which means that there is a low degree of possibility. And now a few examples. The first one, there is an outside chance that she'll win the lottery. And one more example, there is a slight chance that the laptop won't be damaged after having spilled coffee on it. Number 11, another option we have is to use adverbs like probably. 
For example, he's probably on holiday. Another adverb is perhaps. For example, perhaps she's a nurse. And another adverb we can use is definitely. Let's look at two examples. The first one, they are definitely having a good time. And one more example, it would definitely be a great opportunity. And last but not least, we're going to look at eight expressions that can come in handy when speculating. The first expression that I think can be very useful is it might be the case that. An example sentence, it might be the case that she's racing against the clock. The idiom to race against the clock or against time means that you have to do something very quickly and you have a limited amount of time. Number two, it might be a good way of whatever. For example, it might be a good way of keeping fit. The third expression, I get the impression. For example, I get the impression she's an athlete. Number four, I expect or I imagine. For example, I imagine she takes great pleasure in running. To take great pleasure in something or in doing something is a great synonym of to enjoy. Number five, I doubt that. For example, I doubt that she has enough time. Number six, I am fairly or absolutely certain. The meaning of fairly is quite. And now, two examples. The first one, I'm fairly certain it's a stressful life. And one more example, I'm absolutely certain she'll break the record. Two more to go, number seven, as far as I can see. For example, as far as I can see, they are a family. And last but not least, number eight, I suppose. An example sentence, I suppose they are having a picnic. So guys, that's it for today. Thank you for watching this video up to the very end. I really hope you found it useful and these 12 strategies will help you speculate in the exam and consequently score very high. So if you enjoyed this video and learned something new, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up, to subscribe to English Bits and catch me on Instagram for more daily English. With that being said, thanks for watching and see you next week. Ciao for now!